welcome everyone. This is Art Talk with Susanna Baker on Primetime Mondays on Bloomberg Radio. We're so happy that we have this platform. Every single Monday we come on with the movers and shakers of the cultural world, with the great talents of this magical city known as Miami, where the weather is an average of 84 and the talent is always blooming. Today in the studio is no different. This is part two of a wonderful showcase of the talents of the artists that are around seven different art districts um, that we're representing on this art show from Miami Beach to Bird Road to Wynwood uh, to Coral Gables. Uh, we also have South Miami as well that we're discussing here. And so there's fabulous um, art everywhere we go. We know Art Basel is once a year, but I always say Art Basel is every day of the year. You have some of the best collections in Miami. Uh, we have the Rubel family collection in Wynwood, Marty Margulies in Wynwood, Rosa de la Cruz, Little Havana, the Jeffrey Loria collection. And so every day we should support our cultural institutions. And this week we have something so special at the Home Design and Remodeling Show. Starting from March 27th, you could come down and you can actually meet and greet one of these phenomenal, talented artists by, uh, and support the arts by buying a piece or just meeting and greeting and learning about some of their workshops or some of their next receptions and galas. And with that, I have on to my, in front of me, a lovely, talented lady, Tina Sil Silvastin. Salveson. Salveson. Tina Salveson from Wynwood, from the Bake House, right? We also have from Wynwood, from the Wynwood Art Lofts, we have David Gary Lloyd. Good. Hello, David. And we also have Emmanuel Viscuso from Miami Beach. Hi, Emmanuel. Thank you for having me here. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm, I'm excited. Let me tell you. You know, I this is one of the few platforms on Bloomberg while everyone else is discussing the finances and insurance and the up and downs of the Dow Jones. We're here about talking about the fabulous arts. And from emerging to masters to collections, it's, it's, it's our honor to always give a voice for that one part of the world that has a universal language. Art is a universal language. There is no... Um, you know, there's no stereotypes, there's no um, discrimination. It, it comes in all shapes, sizes, and, and forms, as I see here today on this show, that we're highlighting Home at, with Art at the new Home Design and Remodeling Show. Now, Tina, tell us what brought you to Miami, and then the Bakehouse, and So you're a native. I'm a native. Okay. Pretty much. My mother flew to Chicago to have me and flew back. <laughs> All <laughs> so right. I was born in Chicago, but I've lived here most of my life. Um, I left when I was about 16 to go to college, and I didn't come back until six, seven years ago now. Seven years ago? Where yeah. were you all this time? I was in New York City most of the time. Uh, my place. My place, too. Yeah, my that's place. I was born. And I was in um, Bucks County, Pennsylvania. Wow. So I moved back here. My mother was um, aging beautifully, absolutely beautifully, and I came to be with her and my sister, who's, who's lived here. And the arts? What? What? Where? Because I see that you did get a degree in uh, Bachelor of Fine Arts. Yes, and and I went to um, my MFA at Tyler uh, Temple University, and. Um, I've done, I was in the Newark Museum, I was in a lot of museums in, in Pennsylvania and New York, and I still have shows in New York, but I came back down here. How do you live. see the art scene from New York City to here? I think it's, it's wonderful here. Yeah, I, it really I is. think that we are growing and changing and doing things that are absolutely phenomenal, and I think the weather helps us a good deal. I think this wonderful winter we've had and this whole loving of this climate really helps the arts in a way that uh, New York doesn't have. Well, you know, the, 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 that was a very interesting thing, and it's true, you know, Miami has always been sold by the sun and the beach. Even Julia Tuttle used it as her marketing campaign when she sent the postcards to all the rich families and northerners, and she did the mangroves in Biscayne Bay, and she called it the American Riviera. 
She left out the crocodiles and mosquitoes and <laughs> all the other things, but she left the beautiful Biscayne Bay, and that's how we got Carl Fisher and many of the greats that made this, uh, you know, wonderful city. And of course, Tuttle taking the credit for the only woman to create a city and incorporate it in 1896. So absolutely, sun and weather, and right now, the art scene in Miami, and with Art Basel signing 14 years ago, and with us having a world-class museum and a world-class city, definitely puts us as a second uh, city in the nation, and soon to be the first, no doubt in my mind. David Gary Lloyd, how are you, sir? Great. You Very have good, a yeah. you, you're a very good looking young man in front of me. And uh, we actually when we send out to our database, your picture is the one that was chosen for I don't know if it was it was just coincidence, oh, no, no, no. but it went all <laughs> over my uh, media blast and I wasn't sure what exactly you did because it was just your picture and a great one added. I was sold a headshot. It's then a headshot. <laughs> <laughs> so you're headshot. a photographer. <laughs> yes, yes. What got you into photography? Um, actually, my sister did. Uh, it was, uh, you know, back when I was about 15 years old, and um, I was in the dark room, and I just loved the meditative state of being in a dark room and creating. Um, I'd be there for hours and hours with the music on, and I just loved the process. And do you still do dark room for your I, pieces? I don't do dark room anymore. Um, I don't work with uh, with negatives. I work in digital now, but um, I still hold on to a lot of those um, traditional techniques. Um, a lot of the work I do. And some portraits, so it's really exciting to see the diversity that Home with Art will have. And then the beautiful sculptures uh, that Emmanuel Viscuso calls solid music. Tell me a little bit about this solid music in your sculptures, which are very majestic. Thank you for the music one, for, for the majestic. <laughs> They're just my, like my children. I love them, of course, because I did them, but I am happy every time somebody loves them as well because they represent music for what I said before. They are uh, read, they are uh, harmony, they are uh, movement. And this is clear to anyone. Uh, I remember one time I was just I was in New York in the in the Metropolitan Museum with new pictures from my sculptures. I was living in the DSC and, and I was sitting in the bar of the Metropolitan. And another lady on, on another seat tell me, hey, what are you looking at? And I said, I'm looking at my soldiers, but nothing in what I we were in the Metropolitan, so you can imagine I was in Italy. So she said, oh, no, please lo let me, I want to see. And she looked at her, oh, wonderful. You know, I think to music looking at this. And this was, for me, the proof that I was in the real direction with my, because I was uh, saying this, but I didn't tell this lady before, so she said. So this was like the demonstration that I was right to do this thing. This was in 86. In 1986. And so I see some of your sculptures very kinetic. Uh, looks like a lot of meticulous work um, as you continue going. Uh, in particular, the one that was sent to me. Um, how large and how long does it take? What are the different sizes and dimensions? Well, and how long does an average work? Of your sculpture <laughs> uh, dimension is is uh, is only relative to the to the ambience where they go because when I think to a form it has no dimension it's, it's just the form a, a sphere a sphere or a cube is a cube I, even if it is one one thousand feet or or just one millimeter is a cube is the form so in my case uh, I started the the most uh, the first ones with little steps little uh, uh, staples in metal. So they were very little, but my biggest sculpture is in the airport of Milan in Malpensa. It is uh, 45 feet large, oh, wow. and but it was also little things till now like jewels, and there is a little pin I made for Queen Elizabeth in England. It's like this size, Ooh, but nice. but gold, and and uh, it's a sculpture as well, little <laughs> owned by the Queen. I'm very happy because the consul of of England when she came and stayed visit to Milan in Italy. 
uh, they bought this for me to make a present, a present to her. So I was really oh, happy about it. Oh, of course. Of course. <laughs> I mean, that's a huge honor. Yeah, that's absolutely. a very big honor. Would you ever consider doing some of transforming some of your spheres and cubes into jewelry? Because oh yes, yes, yes. I did. I did not that much because. Uh, for me, art is is not the goal of making objects that I can sell because they are tables or they are. They are your children. You said they are your children. They are just pure forms. But mm -hmm. yes, I like to do also objects with my art. In in uh, in Italy recently, I made a table. It's a sculpture of mine, but with with, with a glass on it, and uh, uh, an Italian firm uh, uh, show it at the Milano Salone del Mobile. And uh, I was not there, unfortunately. I was here, but it's been published everywhere. I'm so happy. That's wonderful. Well, congratulations. Well, we're hoping for the same. You know, as people go into the home design and remodeling show, which is opening up now March 27th to the 30th, and it's going to be every single day. There will be from 10 to, I think, from noon to 10. And uh, we'll have a schedule soon of all the show times. But it's an amazing show. It's been around for close to, I think, two decades, and it uh, brings many, many thousands of uh, families as well as designers, and it, it's a little bit of everybody. It's not as, as, um, as uh, you know, when the Design Miami shows for Art Basel or, you know, very hot couture designs and furniture, but you have a little bit of everything that is exciting because that's what the art in this showcase at home with the art is all about, a little bit of everything of these wonderful sculptures to the photography to your graphite and uh, charcoal pieces which you also work in large dimensions and small right Tina? Yes, yes I work quite large. I Most of my pieces are 4 feet <coughs> or 5 feet. Some, some are, are larger. They're all mostly done on paper. And you're, you're talking, when you're doing your work you're really expressing an inner moment of a soul onward, a journey between uh, being awake to the, being asleep to the life, representation of life and death. You're absolutely right. It's, it's kind of a limbo. It's kind of that passing through the veil, so to speak, but it doesn't have to be a veil of life and death. It can be a veil of sleep a veil of, of just being in limbo, of when you meditate. It's a very meditative way I, I do the work, number one. I usually do it in a meditative state. I'm very calm. I'm very uh, deliberate. Uh, do you do certain um, uh, steps to get to that? Do you put, like, candles on or certain no. <laughs> meditational music? I'm, or I'm actually, um, I've been meditating for over 30 years. It's very easy to go there now for me. So it, the pieces are very large. They're very scrupulously done, very uh, meticulous. And they usually represent some other natural form. So if someone was to commission your work, what is a typical client that comes? What, what, are, what are they commissioning? What are they saying? I love this for my office. I Or I love this for my home. Or my daughter has just been going through something or what where which is your most of your clients coming from what's the well profile? I do I do a lot of different things and a lot of I do color as well and I just I have two three four large pieces at the Lowe's on South Beach right now and I'm doing some things the Lowe's is the hotel the on hotel Miami Beach, yeah USA Florida right and then um, I'm negotiating with the Ritz Carlton right now to do uh, very, very large pieces. I'm going to rent another studio to do them if I do them. Oh, that's great. Yeah. And, and, um, but at the same time, I have people who rent things who love my work from the bed their bedroom because it's so dreamy. Yeah, I could see that with so some of your pieces. I could definitely yeah. see that. Um, I love them. I'm normally in limbo, trying <laughs> to sleep, like I said before. But, you know, we're so excited because, you know, art in Miami has been really blossoming. Uh, we are, uh, you know, attention, all eyes are on us internationally with the opening of the Perez Art Museum. And we're so excited to have all the wonderful talents that come through every Monday on Bloomberg Radio Primetime, Art Talk with Susanna Baker. We're going to be right back after these commercial breaks. I'm Susanna Baker. And I'm going to be Scuso, David Gary Boy. Tina Salveson. Be right back. Wow, you're